Good morning. I'm in Mattapoisett Harbor, and that's Peter over there, and that's his son Silas, Triad Boat Works. And you guys are picking up a boat, right? We're gonna wait for the winter. So that's what Mattapoisett looks like and on a really foggy day. How did I end up on a boat on a foggy day in Mattapoisett? I was driving by, decided to stop in just because of the way that the weather was. And I noticed that Peter, who I've met quite a few times before, was doing boat runs with his son to pull them out of the water. I asked if I could come along and well, it didn't take long for me to be on the boat heading out for a run. Okay, you're on a boat and you have limited workspace. Look for interesting angles. I really needed to get up high so I can get the men within the context of the surroundings. I started by photographing them head on and as you can see here the only interesting thing is that dock. So look around, I mean, okay, let me go to the left, see what that looks like. Uh, probably not very good because there's nothing interesting as far as boats or anything on the opposite side. So I moved over to the right and you can see here it was just a matter of waiting for their heads to be between the two elements, in this case a buoy and a boat. You need to be able to anticipate. You know he's going to jump on that boat, so wait for that moment. You see his foot almost touching the boat? That, along with the tension in his arm, really broadcast the motion. Silas was trying to figure out what key started this boat, so it made for a really interesting photo with all the fog. This is another example of anticipation. Peter is making his way around the boat that they are picking up to head back to the pier. I was waiting for his son who was pulling anchor to come into the frame. It was just a matter of time. Sometimes you just gotta put the cameras down and enjoy the moment yourself. I mean, just look at the uh, opportunities that we have as photographers. We, we get to experience what other people do every single day. And I can tell you, this is probably not a very pleasant task when it's freezing outside or when the wind is howling. But sometimes just enjoy How it. How are you doing today? Doing well, thank you. So the weather is kind of weird, right? Very foggy. Very foggy. So it's like, what, 53 or 54 degrees, something yeah, like that? that yeah. So we're in Mattapoisett, and at one point, what you see here uh, was actually where whale ships were built, right here where we are now. And you've been at this for a while. I've been at it since 1977. And so pretty much, how does the season go? So you put the boats in when? In spring, um, during April and May and June. And then everybody wants their boats out? Before the end, before the end of this month. So this is this is cut off. Everybody by Halloween wants their boats out. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, it's because of the weather, right? So we, weather we're starting and, weather and insurance. And insurance. Yeah. A lot, lot of people get cut off at the end of the month. There you go. We just learned something new. <laughs> so um, that's your son and and that uh, boat we just went to go and, and fetch. Yes, he is. What, what kind of boat is that? That is a tiara power boat. So that's a pretty big power boat. Yeah, good size. Good size. Where, where are all these boats go? Back to the boat yet. Back to your, the, who, Back. whose boat yard? Yours? Triad, yeah. Okay. Back, we put them all in the Triad and uh, we store them indoors or outdoors. Yep. And they're, uh, we wash them and put them away for the winter. Okay. So like, you, basically you have your core clients. Yes, absolutely. And you said when we were out there that you still have quite a few boats that you got to pull out of the water, right? Yeah, quite a few. Most of them though are not necessarily power boats. You have a lot of sailboats? A lot of sailboats. Mostly sailboats. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, Peter, thanks for let, bring, letting me go out there. Oh, Peter. Awesome. All right, man. It's Thank always you, great man. seeing you. It's always seeing you, too. And uh, your new trail is really cool, man. Yeah, it works well. Yeah, I hope you guys well. can see that. It dries right in the water. <laughs> yeah, right in the water. Yeah, I've been photographing these guys now for a long time. And it's, it's funny, like, as a photographer, there are days you just don't know what you're gonna get, which is most of the days, but you know, you start getting used to rhythms and, and there are hot spots and Mattapoise during boating season is always one because there's always activity here. But at this time of the year, like he said, it's like boats out of the water constantly. And the reason I came here today is obviously because of the weather. It's just very dramatic with the fog and all that other stuff. So again, thanks for letting me come on and giving me a ride. I can never say no to a boat ride in anytime, the morning. Anytime, Pete, you're all welcome. Thank you.